Stacy Crenshaw. Put your thinking caps on, cause you are now tuned into True School Sports. Saul Canelo Alvarez, one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. He's come a long way in his career, and here on YouTube, I've, ha I've had a reputation for being a Canelo hater, you know. And, and to be fair with you guys, I'm, I'm gonna be a lot more unbiased in this video, but I'm still not a big Canelo fan. I just don't rock with a lot of things he does in his career. But I will not deny the fact that he is a talented fighter. So with that being said, um, I've decided to use this coronavirus as a chance and as a means to further educate myself on Canelo Alvarez because I'll, I will admit there's plenty of fights in his career that I have not had a chance to watch. So maybe if I go back and I, and I dig and I look, I look at some older fights that maybe I can learn something about Canelo and I could have a better understanding of Canelo Alvarez and maybe I won't dislike the guy as much. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to go back and we're going to go revisit one of Canelo's old fights and in this particular video right here we're gonna revisit Canelo's American debut yes his American debut he fought uh Sugar Shane Mosley's cousin Larry Mosley you know Larry Mosley was a guy at the time who came into the fight at 15 2 and 2 six knockouts um, and this was a guy that was supposed to be brought in to provide a test for Canelo and to, to his credit he did he he, he did bring in a, a solid test to Canelo Alvarez. He wasn't no pushover. He wasn't no, as many fans would say, bum. You know, he was a, he was a very tough competitor. He was a, how Mayo they would call, say, a, a solid competitor. He was a good fighter. You know, just some background on Larry Mosley Jr., just short background. Uh, he was uh, a U.S. amateur welterweight champion twice, and uh, his probably most notable, his most, his most notable win in the amateurs came when he defeated Yuri Foreman as amateur. And like I mentioned earlier, he is the cousin of Shane Mosley. Now, this fight was very interesting to watch because, like, like I told you, you know, Canelo Alvarez come up, came a long way in his boxing career. This fight took place 10 years ago, so, it, you know, we're 10 years, basically 10 years away uh, removed from Canelo's American debut. So we've had a decade to, di to, uh, to, to digest Canelo Alvarez in America. But I know this is a fight that I haven't watched before, and I know it's a fight that probably a lot of people, who, unless they're extra, extra hardcore boxing fans, and they you know, had, had, it, had, had it within them to watch a solo box sale telecast at the time. They're not, they, they didn't watch this fight. You see what I'm saying? So here's my little assessment of the fight. Just my, my, my little uh, unbiased assessment of the fight. Okay. Now, in this fight, one thing that stood out immediately from, you know, Larry Mosley. Um, this guy had a really good jab, a good jab, uh, conventional jab going straight. He had a good up jab as well. Um, he threw his jab, in, in, you know, from very educated angles, solid angles. He had very good ring craft. You know, he had the ability to uh, use the ring, pivot at, p pivot in and out of corners, and and set up new punching angles. He was a very, very, very crafty guy. Um, I would just say his biggest problem in this fight, and pretty much, you know, in his career, was the fact that he just didn't have that punching power that could have taken it to the next level. But he had he had a lot of the other skills, and he showed them in this fight. Um, Within the first three rounds, like, 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 like I said, you know, in the first three rounds, we saw Larry Mosley's jab giving Canelo fits, giving him problems. Um, he was able to faint Canelo, offset him. And it's, it's interesting when you watch Canelo in these fights now, based on what we see now, based on what we know about Canelo, because the thing that really sticks out most about Canelo in this fight is the lower half of his body. And l l let me explain that. The lower half of his body, as you can see, it, it, you know, there's a, a, a noticeable lack of movement. You know, I would even go as far as say it's a night and day difference from the Canelo Alvarez we see of today. You know, a guy that's world renowned for his lower body movement, upper body movement, ability to slip and evade punches. You know, his head stays a lot more on the line, and you can kind of see in the in the in the fight, Canelo Alvarez in many spots he's having a hard time moving his head off the line because it's it, it hasn't at that point in his career, he's twenty three fights in, it hasn't come instinctually to Canelo yet. You see what I'm saying? And when you add in the fact that he's fighting an experienced veteran fighter, a guy that knows his way around the ring in, in, in uh, Larry Mosley, 
you know, it's making that that much more difficult for Canelo Alvarez. Um, but like I said, this guy, he's not the Canelo Alvarez who stood in front of Daniel Jacobs and made him miss four and five punch combinations. This is a Canelo who is very raw. Um, this is a Canelo whose head stays on the line and is there to be hit, you know. And then another thing I noticed watching this fight was the jab from Canelo. You know, in this fight, the younger, you know, baby-faced Canelo, he's throwing like this pawing jab, you know. It's a pawing jab. It's not really like an aggressive you know, sharp jab that we see now that, 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 that cuts the distance quickly and that, that can get the attention of his opponents. This is, a, this is a pawing jab, and it looks like Canelo is still very raw, and he's still fighting his way in the professional ranks and still fighting his way around the ring because the thing you got to understand about Canelo is, yes, okay, this is a guy who had, what, 23 fights? 23, 20-plus, uh, you know, professional fights at, at that point in time, but you got to understand, fighting... You know, in club shows in Mexico, while the fighters there are tough, and while they are durable, they they tend to lack the skills um, that a guy like Larry Mosley had. You know, a long, rangy guy, crafty, knows his way around the ring, can counter punch, has good hand speed. If you let him get his shots off, you know, it, it, it's a big difference. So you can definitely see that he is very much learning on the job because he didn't have the big amateur background. He turned pro at 15. He was fighting grown men. That's that, that, that's that's just how the game goes in Mexico. Um. So watching this fight, like, just watching this fight overall, I'm not going to give you a round-by-round -round breakdown, but just watching this fight, you know, I didn't score it because I wanted to just observe the stylistic uh, differences between Canelo of now and Canelo of 2010. And I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I watched this fight. I didn't even score this fight. I, but I know for a fact there was three rounds that I watched that Larry Mosley clearly won. And I didn't even score the fight. And I feel like if I did score the fight, there's probably another round or maybe two rounds I could have found for Larry Mosley. So I feel like Larry Mosley actually won this fight. Um, he, he In this fight, he, he probably deserved a draw and maybe even a win. I, I didn't score it. But uh, I thought Larry fought an intelligent fight. He used his jab. He used his reach. He used his ring craft. You know, he used his hand speed. His hand speed was very key in this fight because uh, Canelo tried to fight off the ropes. As many of us know, he likes to fight off the ropes these days but back then he, I, he didn't have the lower or upper body movement to set up the uppercuts or things that he likes to do off the ropes so Larry Mosey was able to let his hands go pick his shots well throw hooks on the guard at times and catch Canelo and I feel like there was enough instances of that in the fight for 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 some of these close rounds to swing in the favor of uh, Larry Mosley so you know, I mean it was a really good fight from him um, and as far as from the Canelo side of things, in this fight, he showed that he had good hand speed. He had respectable punching power because he punched around the guard of Larry Mosley a couple of times and got his attention. And this is a young Canelo Alvarez, 23 fights into his career, making his American debut. Um, but he's still very raw at this, at this point in his career. He needs to develop, um, but he's a decent prospect nonetheless. Um, you know? And, you know, later on, as many of us know, we know Canelo would have gone to fight Larry Mosley's cousin, Shane Mosley. And he uh, he won a beating uh, he won a beating Shane Mosley as well. So he, he you know he he did he did two crimes in the Mosley family he took took both the scalps. But um, Canelo Alvarez, what, what can we say about him, man? He's a, he's a very talented fighter. He's someone that is obviously a huge name in boxing right now, a big, a big factor in boxing. And this is one of the fights that I think paved the way for him to get to where he got to today. You know, fighting a guy who was who was tough, who was game, who was experienced, and as crappy as Larry Mosley. I mean, there there, there was a couple of rounds of this fight. I can't remember the exact rounds, but I'm going to say it was like round three or round four. Yo, Larry Mosley was getting off in Canelo. He was getting off on Canelo really well, you know, countering him, counter-punching him, rolling with the shots and countering off of him. At times, he would uh, throw his jab uh, off the line from the right or off the line from the left. Uh, he mixed in the right hand every now and then, and, you know, that's the only thing with Larry Mosley. I feel like in this particular fight, if he had the punching power, he probably could have done some serious damage to Canelo because he was finding he was landing some good solid shots but he just couldn't find the right hand and he couldn't land the significant shots to really keep him on the keep him on the back of his toes and, and continue to pump that jab down his throat had he had the right hand it would have allowed him to keep Canelo more at bay but he didn't have it and you know this is where a good match making comes into play because listen Golden Boy they went ahead and they looked at Larry Mosey they saw the fact that he only had six knockouts and at the time, what, 19 professional fights? So he wasn't a big puncher, but he had the right style to give Canelo problems. And so Canelo 
got the benefits of getting quality in-ring experience early in his career, but still being able to get the victory. Now, my only grab of this fight, and I'm not even sure if I think Canelo won this fight. I, I, I have to go score it, but if he, even, even if he did win it, it's a close fight. I, I, mean, I mean, I think 6-4, 7-3 if you want to get really generous uh, in, in, in this 10-round bout. Uh, but it can't be no higher than 7-3. Larry Mosley, at bare minimum, won three rounds. No doubt about it to me. But the one thing that really pissed me off in this fight, it really pissed me off. And it's, it was kind of funny to see, because even back then, like Canelo Alvarez, with him being on uh, solo boxeo and, and, and having all the promotional push behind him, um, you know, Judge Ray Corona, Ray Corona, we ain't talking about the coronavirus, Judge Ray Corona, he turned in an absolute piss poor, atrocious scorecard of 99 to 91. Yes, you heard that correctly. 99 to 91. Um, there's no way in hell you're going to sit here and insult my intelligence and tell me that, that Larry Mosey only won, won one round. He won three rounds clear as day, and um, I could definitely see him maybe winning four or five rounds. And a couple, of, a couple of judges gave him three, four rounds. So I know I'm not crazy for thinking that. So that was one of, probably one of the worst things to, to learn about Canelo watching this fight is that even back then in 2010, he seemed to have a favorable judge or two on his side. But that's just what a boxing, you know, they were grooming him to be the next Mexican star. And for better or for worse, it's worked out for him. But again, I'm not going to discredit Canelo. This was a good fight. I would, I would highly recommend anybody watch this fight. Uh, it was good boxing skills from both uh, competitors. Um, Larry Mosley showed good skills. Canelo showed good skills. Um, and it was it was good in ring experience for Canelo that would serve him later on, and you know I'm not even a lot of you guys like in watching this fight. I know Larry Mosley isn't as tall as Demetrius Andrade, and I know Larry Mosley isn't as uh, skillful as Demetrius Andrade, and he's not a southpaw like Demetrius Andrade. But it almost makes me question why Canelo hasn't fought Demetrius Andrade because like you fought guys who are long and rangy and, and got good boxing skills, so it wouldn't even be anything new to you. So. You know, it's another question I'm going to have to ask uh, of Canelo because I, I, I just think ever since the Lara fight, he's been avoiding any sort of slick southpaws. I mean, go, go look at his resume. He hasn't fought any slick southpaws, and it's, a, it's, a, it's, more, it's probably my number, one, my number one gripe with him from a boxing standpoint, that he hasn't fought any southpaws. And he exists in a weight class or in, in, you know, around the weight area where you've got Demetrius Andre, who's a world champion, you know, uh, Solid fighter, fantastic fighter, fantastic talent, and you got Billy Joe Saunders, another guy who who I think could give him some serious problems, and it doesn't seem like he's in a rush to fight those styles because he wants to fight the more favorable style of Gennady Golovkin. Who let's not let's not kid ourselves, he's he's a lot older, you know, he's older, he's aging out, you know, he's slowing down. But anyway, I digress. Uh, boxing fans, go watch this Larry Mosley fight. I'm gonna be watching more old Canelo fights and, and getting my opinions on them. So uh, you stay tuned for that. And let me know what you thought about this video down below in the comments. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. I'm Josh. I'm Alex. And we both fight out of Canelo's boxing gym in Dania. And you're watching True School Sports.